I'm here in Central Point with uh, Southern Oregon Beekeepers Association member to learn more about bees and what they're doing to help the community with swarms and extractions in order to save the bees. Let's go check it out. They're, they're really about making babies and making honey. It's what they do really well. For Risa Halpin, bee farming, as she calls it, has been a family staple since her grandfather. I remember as a child sitting in the garage watching him spin honey and finger went in, in the honey pot. We don't do that anymore. That enjoyment fueled a passion, which he now runs as a business. Always a quick look for the queen. With a setup in the Rogue Valley, Halpin has joined with other local beekeepers to help ensure bee colonies can thrive. Not an obsession but a fascination in how they work, and it, it, I understand now how critical they are to our food source. According to Halpin, spring is the time when bees will begin to swarm, a term for when bees look for a new place to build a hive. While it may look scary to some, Halpin says it's the complete opposite. A lot of people are nervous because they are big and they are loud and they're intimidating. When they swarm, it looks like a bee tornado, um, but they will not hurt you and we really respectfully ask, do not spray them. Statistically, when bee colonies begin to swarm, their chance of survival is around 25%. With national headlines warning of massive bee die-offs, Halpin says it's important they assist any swarms they can. You know, for anybody who doesn't want to eat corn, wheat, and soybean, we need the bees, because that applies to a lot of our other fruits and vegetables. Halpin says anyone that may have a swarm in their area can call the Southern Oregon Beekeepers Association. With over 50 members, she says they aim to be there within an hour to take them away. The numbers overall worldwide, it was greater than 50% loss last year. And in the U.S., again, those same numbers apply, about a 50% loss. Is that sustainable beekeeping? I don't think so. From mites to pesticides, a lot is affecting the bees' survival. But here today, these members are trying to do their best to ensure that the bees continue to live on here in Southern Oregon and across the world. In Central Point, Miles